Okay, so back with another rally video. Um, it's hard to film with this car because a lot of the stuff is just maintenance. But I did improve one thing. Um, it was peeling and then that's the new badge. It's just a vinyl sticker copy. Um, I wanted to get a boots around but they're not available and you have to buy the whole locking kit if you want it, it's £200 and I don't think it's worth it. But today we're on to the Nissan's radiator. It should be quite simple, you just need to drain it, unplug some hoses, put the new one in, uh, put the coolant in and bleed it. So I'm not a massive unboxing guy but this is a cool package. Um, if you don't know what it is, I'll open it. Yeah, so it's pretty simple but it's a Nissan's radiator. Um, not to confuse with Nissan, um, a really good make for um, aftermarket up uprated radiators and as I've been moaning in the videos the rally doesn't overheat but I think it could be running a bit cooler, radiator's old, need to change the coolant anyway so why not put a radiator in it, we'll see if it actually makes any difference. Excuse the hair but the rally does go about three quarters of the way up on the temperature gauge so when pushing hard and you know going through traffic so it doesn't overheat but if it can run cooler it'd be better um, so we'll see how this product does. To get the radiator out one of these um, it has this weird like plastic thing that circulates around it for the intake I think um, it's only a few screws a few ten millimeters and it should just pop off and then you can see your hoses better and be actually be able to pull the radiator out. That's the old radiator out. Um, nothing like massively wrong, obviously it's old, uh, but it, it was working fine. Just um, chance to upgrade, why not upgrade? And that's a new one. Um, it looks identical in width and stuff. Um, it's also got a metal. Cat, which is cool. Let's put it in. Right after a bit back and forth, that's the radiator in and fully bled and all hooked up again. Um, guess on these cars you can't actually see much of it. Uh, kind of to the BMW, you can see it's in there, nice and shiny. Um, yeah, the only thing that made it tricky was this. So this is the intake. And it's sort of a cold air because it takes it in from the front of the car, but. It has this like cooling mechanism and that pipe work was actually quite hard to get off because of rusty bolts and stuff but it's off. Yeah the only issue was this hose um it was, it was leaking coolant from here and um I think it's just due to these old style uh you can see these like clips you pinch them and they release but over time I think they lose the tightness uh so I just put a new jubilee on there and it's nice and tight and sealed. Uh, bleeding's obviously fun because you've got one here, one here, and one like a tie cut one here. But it worked out on the end. It's holding cold well. It's not overheating. Uh, the car's running great now. Um, so I guess I'll take it for a drive. Uh, obviously, I've gone through this like process of warming up, putting the f uh, fans on, putting the heaters on, but everything is good. Sorry, this is all filmed over a few days, but um, that's the radiator in, start it up. So obviously I've, I've driven it a bit. Um, let the fuel pump kick in. Always on the button. That's quite high idle, but it's cold. Um, so yeah, I'll just get driving it and see how it actually performs now, because we're going to do a bit of town driving. So yeah, the radiator job wasn't too bad, apart from the bleeding. So, this, so I drove it on countryside roads don't really test traffic and stuff like that so I think exactly the same thing happened last year um, I get the car pretty much where I want it to be and then uh, I take my time and then before you know it it's time to put the car back into storage but I have really just driven this car this year and enjoyed it um, the only things I've done and changed the radiator yeah, next year um, I'd like to take it a few further places now um, you know quite I say it's now I'm quite confident in the car I'm gonna get it serviced next year and I think it's a good time to do a cam belt and a water pump because they were done four or five years ago so 
obviously haven't done the mileage for a new car belt, but the, you know, the age thing can make it forever perishable. But yeah, I just want to drive the car a bit more next year, go maybe a bit further, maybe down to Wales and stuff. Um, cosmetically, I'd like to get some new wheels, and I mean just new original steel wheels, you can still buy them. Uh, keep the set I've got on now, sort of like as a rough storage set. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the tyres on these wheels. Um, they might be a bit old, but the tread's good. Uh, but yeah, maybe try a different tyre compound, I don't know. Um, a different make from the Yokohamas. But now I'm actually doing some town driving, which is where I like the car to roll a bit cooler than before. Um, Straight off the bat, it, um, it seems to get up to temperature just like it used to, which is uh, healthy. Um, we're about just under halfway now, um, but we need to, you know, do a bit more stop starting before we get properly warmed up. Um, the heaters still work, which I think is always a promising thing when you, you know, mess about with the cooling system because it means. You're still getting hot water through your heater matrix, there's no air blocks or anything. Um, but when I drove the car at night time it did seem to run a bit cooler, which I was happy about. Um, we'll see where we get to on this town drive. Again, this is barely above 6 degrees, so it's not a true test like it would be in summer. The car's just about up to temperature now. I, I, I 
could upload more, but I do have a day job. Anyway, so as you know, this will go back into storage soon. Uh, for the winter, I'll bring it back out early spring. Should be able to throw quite a lot of stuff at it this time around. Um, what else? Yellow Peugeot 205, if you're wondering. Um, I did move that down to London. Oh, here we go. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to slowly work on that myself. Um, I'm not rushing that thing. And it's a small dark garage, so it's hard to film. I'll, I'll try and share big updates, but uh, all I've done to it is I've put in a 1.9 GTI axle, rear axle on the back of it now, so no more drum brakes. I get a lot of those on the BMW 